Okay, folks, this one's got potential, but it's going to be challenging, perhaps. Uh, I do think we can try, and hopefully it'll look really nice. It's got the potential, as I said. Okay, let's see what this is. It is some kind of holographic sticker. Most holographic stickers can't be peeled off. They tend to break. But we're interested in this. Really nice example. Uh, that, can, that was able to be torn off in one piece. Going to move it around on the glass. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to look. Yeah, that's come up better than I thought actually. It's got potential as I said. Uh, going to use do another one. I do like that pattern there. Uh, Just gonna overlap the edge of that. Just gonna see where I'm putting this. Maybe the head could go up the top. It's a bit sticky, folks. It's being a sticker. interesting but not quite as nice as the first but yeah do like those lines that you get um, just gonna put it upside down folks Yeah, it's difficult controlling movement, folks, I must say. Just to, just for the record, folks. And that's come up looking really quite interesting, but not quite what I'm after. I do think the first one looks the nicest. No, that's not the first one, that's the second one. I do think the first one looks the best so far, uh, but I'm still not happy with it uh, just put these back together but yeah folks I'm trying to get recognized as a as a photocopier artist in my own right um, gets really lonely living by myself so I'm trying to get also get in touch with my partner Luigi and he shares my passion for photocopiers I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news on channel nine to air this material and it's really proving to be a challenge trying to get the mainstream media onto this underground stuff that i'm doing this because photocopy art is considered underground it's a very underground thing it's not like the archibald prize which of course channel nine have so brown nosingly uh promoted in recent times it's not like that. It's basically really, really underground and grungy as an art movement. And it's, it's actually quite, you could say it's a dead art movement at the moment. There's not many people doing it. Uh, and I'm not making money out of this. And I'm also happen to be disabled, 
which means I don't earn much money to keep my passion alive and I'm trying to get on the six o'clock news and I'm trying to get in touch with my lost partner as I think I just said sorry my memory's fucked it's part of my disability is to have memory problems a large portion of it can be attributed to memory problems that have not been diagnosed I had a cord around my neck when I was born I came out breech and that's come up looking really quite interesting I came out breech had a cord around my neck and it came out breech which would have meant that the oxygen supply was cut off in my birth. My mum used to tell me about it, folks. It used to be my mum's recollection that she used to tell me that that's what happened when I was born. And I just remember it long-term memory, not short-term memory or hypercampus function. Uh, learning really difficult, has always been difficult for me at school and elsewhere, and I still struggle with learning now. I probably find it harder to learn now than I ever did because I'm 50 and my mind is shutting down a bit. You know, parts of your memory go when you get old and it's just become worse. Uh, I've not been diagnosed with it, uh, which is a problem. Uh, but basically, yeah, and that's come up looking really quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, it's really difficult trying to learn new things and r retain information. It's really difficult. And I also do believe also another undiagnosed disability is my high-functioning autism, uh, which gives me the power to do this very well, despite the uh, intellectual disability that I just mentioned. So I'm trying my best to present this work and to focus on what I can do and what I can't do. And I've got another disability that has been diagnosed and it gives me my payments to keep me alive. And that is basically my, I can't say what it is because it's, it's got a stigma attached and I don't want to basically be stigmatized. I'm not ready to be, to release, to release what it is that I'm talking about. And now that's come up looking really quite nice. And I like the way that's showing. So I'm going to utilise this as my uh, master copy. Uh, but I really need to get in touch with Luigi. And I need to get my artwork recognised because I'm not rich. I'm being living on Centrelink and, and working in an ADE, an Australian Disability Enterprise, is really, really not a very high paying uh, or even satisfying situation I, don't get me wrong I'm all I'm basically grateful to send a link but I really want to go off it and just focus on what I can do and not what I can't do I don't want to be focusing on my disability so I'm trying to get channel 9 interested uh, so yeah channel 9 it's up to you you've got the power you've got the might I'm just a little person on the disability support pension. I know I'm not rich, I'm not famous, but if you give me a chance, I could probably end up that way if you fucking help me. So, and I want to be recognised. I'm dying for recognition and to get in touch with my partner and to have a decent living. I've never been rich because of my disability and because of my family upbringing. So I'm not fucking, I was never born with a spoon, silver spoon in my mouth, so as to speak. But basically, I just want to be recognised as a talented person, as an artist. And I want to soar and do new heights that I've never experienced in my life. And I want to help other people less fortunate than myself, who might have similar problems that I have and I want to make a difference and I'm basically rash because I can't afford much I'm rationing my hot water by taking one shower a week and one hair wash every fortnight in order to conserve electricity because I can't afford it and also conserving lighting I'm using uh, torches and a camp lantern or not a camp lantern but anymore but I'm using a, an, a USB powered lantern uh, to give me my illumination uh, but basically yeah I just can't afford I was given a little bit of money and I bought a new camp lantern uh, but I was given that money and basically yeah I managed to make good use of it 
and I bought a really nice uh, light with it that I'm using. You know, hats off to the entity who gave me that money. Uh, I can't name who it is, of course, folks. Anonymous. Um, but basically, yeah. Now, this is looking really interesting. I'm going to darken it further. But yeah, occasionally you get a good Samaritan who gives a little bit of money. Uh, oh, hats off to them, you know. Hats off to the nice people of the world who give rather than take. You know, some people are like that. Some You get that occasionally. You do get people who are really kind-hearted and merciful. But you don't get that very often in this day and age. Um, I don't know which one's the better one. This is the darker version. It doesn't look much darker than this. And I don't like that shadowy bit. I um, don't know what to do with it, folks. Whether I add a background colour or maybe put it back on the earlier setting. Oh, whatever, folks. But yeah, you do get the occasional Good Samaritan, right? You do get that sort of person that likes to give money away to those doing it tough, you know? I want to help others. That's the thing, folks. I don't want to be reliant on Centrelink for the rest of my life uh, and, I, and I live in social housing as well hats off to them so hats off to all the agencies who help me NDIS um, the ADE or ADEs as well as the ones in the past that I've worked at so you know hats off to them all but I do need to move on and make a living for myself and I want it, I need the help of the big guys in the in the in the high end of town to help me. Otherwise I'll never get anywhere, folks. I'll just be stuck here and languishing on Centrelink. You know, it's not a glamorous thing to be on Centrelink, folks. You know, if anyone wants to rot the system and pretend they're disabled, it's not worth it, folks. You know, you don't earn that much money. You're better off working. If you can work, work, you know? And that's the thing. People some people want to rip off Centrelink, and that's why Centrelink can be so strict, you know? Because people try to rip them off and defraud them when they shouldn't. So, you know, but there you go. So, just try your best, you know, and just focus on what you can do and get an education if you can, you know? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know the exact situation people are in, but basically I really find it... It's annoying that people think that living on Centrelink is glamorous. It's not. It's not fucking glamorous. It's not fun. It's it's there for a reason. It's a safety net. It's not there to rot. It's not there for... Because you don't want to fucking work. You've got to work, folks. You've got to work. So, enough of that. But basically, yeah, I'm trying my best to make ends meet as I can. I'm trying to produce my work and to make it as appealing as possible it's hard work folks it's hard work but I'm trying my best and that's all a person with a disability can do is try their best so let's see how we go Okay, that's kind of interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.